What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone and this is your weekly gear news update. As you can probably hear, it's raining. So there's some rainy noise that we're gonna have to deal with today, but that's cool. Do me a favor, if you like guitar stuff, guitar anything, gear news, any of this kind of stuff, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. We do these gear news updates every Wednesday. We have a really cool video about guitar stuff on Monday and we do a live stream on Thursdays. It's pretty fun around here just talking about guitar stuff. Let's get straight into this news. Wampler has released the Pantheon pedal, which sounds like it has like a Pantheon of tones. Is that right? I guess plethora. Does anybody have a plethora pedal? Anyway, the Pantheon has got a blues breaker kind of circuit on one side, and then it's got a more 21st century, more modern tone circuit on the other side. What's really cool about this pedal, I think, is the way you can run uh, one pedal on one side, go out to an amp, maybe put a pedal in between, come back into the other side of this pedal. You can switch orders, looks like you can blend. Uh, it's got MIDI. There's a bunch of really cool ways to work this into a pedal board, not just having a block of tones that you have to deal with one way. Super versatile, uh, I dig this. I'm excited about it and it is not very expensive. I'll leave a link to it as well as as much of this stuff I can find that's actually out in the description below. If you use those links, it does help out the channel a little bit. Thanks so much. I think you're gonna dig this pedal. I think it's really cool. Tom Morello, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, new pedal, MXR, called the Power 50. So you know he uses a JCM 800. And one of the things he does is he runs all of his effects into the effects loop. So what they've done with the Power 50 is try to recreate that whole tone that he uses, or at least the, the amp side of it uh, that he uses for his drive tones, etc. He's got a really interesting rig using the single coil pickup in a humbucker thing in the neck and doing some really goofy stuff. So this is gonna be an interesting pedal to use, not only with his type of rig, but you know, whatever you're playing. I'm sure you've heard of the legendary Tim and Timmy pedals. Paul Cochran has just announced the V3 version of the Tim pedal, adding some features to it, making it more versatile with more speaker types, uh, changing up some things, making it a little bit more adjustable. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description below as well. This pedal is a staple, like a baseline tone for a lot of people. Electro Harmonix has announced the Nano Qtron envelope filter to try to get you into those funky John Mayer kind of sounds. Uh, you can adjust the sweep sensitivity with the Q, you can adjust the width with the drive, and you can adjust the volume with the volume, and do some other kind of cool stuff with this thing. An envelope filter is really cool. Yeah, it makes really weird quacky sounds, but it also is, well, you should just try one because you can use it for a lot of things actually uh, to get that kind of funky sound. I've actually been playing with a envelope filter on my Spark 40 lately. It's been kind of fun. Now, Supro. They make great amps. I don't know if you've ever played one, but they're really cool. But they're all kind of a little crunchy when you start to push them, uh, which is cool. Like, that's the Supro thing. Well, they have just announced their Royale. Uh, it's available in a 35 watt Class A and a 50 watt Class AB. Uh, and the idea of this thing is to just be super clean and super loud and then you can put whatever you want in front of it. Uh, it's got one of the Supro speakers in it, Poplar cabinet, looks like a Supro, but really loud and really clean, especially if you want to put a bunch of stuff into it. I don't know, maybe play pedal steel? I'm not sure. And we can't go through a guitar gear news without any Harley Benton news. Obviously, you saw the thumbnail, so we'll get back to them in a minute. But they have some more new guitars. They look like other guitars. They're fancier versions or prettier versions. I don't know about fancier because they're super cheap, but prettier versions of other guitars that they already have. You know me and Harley Benton, but there you go. They look pretty nice. If you want to have a lot of cheap guitars, that's probably your jam. This next one I'm really excited about actually. The Harmony H72, yes. Looks kind of like a 335, but it's their version of it. It's only gonna be like 700 bucks. It's made in Korea. 
I like the idea of this thing. Now it says it has gold foil mini humbuckers in it. Don't get too excited about those as gold foils because they're probably just mini humbuckers with some stuff under the cover to make it look like a gold foil. I wouldn't get too excited about that part, but the 24.75 inch scale with the 12 inch radius fretboard, this gets you in 335 territory in a ish, you know, style in a way that's just a little different for not a lot of money. And this is a really cool, I, I was excited when I saw this. I think it's very cool. I'll try to find a link to put it in the description so you can check out more details about it. But I like this guitar. As you may or may not be aware, Ed Sheeran is now playing Loudon, or he has been playing Loudon for a while, but he just came out with a new version called the Equal of the Wee Loudon, which is like the little baby Loudon, which, you know, because he plays those small guitars he used to play like a baby Martin. I actually got one of those baby Martin Ed Sheeran things for my daughter, and it's really good. Uh, but this is really cool. Uh, it's figured walnut back and sides with a spruce top. It's got Graf Tech nut, 24 inch scale. It also has a LR Bags EAS VTC with sound control in the, in the hole, sound hole. This is a cool guitar. And I think it is one that these little guitars, even if you don't get this one, everybody should have one of these little guitars. They just to have around the house, in the living room, super cool. Uh, the Loudon is a little more, it's like 1300 bucks, but if you've ever played a Loudon, you will know what I'm talking about. These things are really nice and they're really well built. Harley Benton's got a new modeler. You saw the thumbnail. Crazy. 323 bucks. Under 400, under $350. Under $325. Ridiculous. Uh, 51 amp models. 31 cab sims. Impulse response based speaker emulation, a bunch of effects, expression pedal, kind of all the things that other modelers have. And it says something in here about amp switching. So like if you have a clean amp and a dirty amp, it's got a way that you could like do that within the profile, which I think is cool, which I haven't really seen before. I really like that. And again, it's really cheap. Now, is it good? I don't know. I don't know. The trick with these less expensive modelers is this. You want to try them because they're not expensive. It's a way to dip your foot into the modeling world. However, if your first experience with amp modeling is bad, it could sour you on the entire technology. So this is one of these things where I'm curious to know how good this is. Is this thing gonna be good for guitar world and amp modeling world or is it just gonna make a bunch of people go, man, these things suck. When really, there's some good ones out there. I don't know. Get in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Do you think we need another one of these at this price range? We're gonna continue to see them, so I don't know if it's a choice, <laughs> but it's interesting. Get in the comments and let me know how you feel about all that. Thanks for hanging out. My name is Ben Dillon. This is Dillon Talks Tone. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, get in the comments and chat about it. We also have our live stream on Thursday. We have a new video coming out every Monday. Uh, more telly stuff, actually. We're working on that vintage, that classic vibe. Squire telly right now. We put new pickups in it. I think next week we're going to put new wiring in it. Uh, we did a setup on it this week. So definitely check that out. We're going to talk about cheap pots versus good pots and that kind of stuff on Monday. So that's pretty cool. Make sure you check all that stuff out. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next video.